Hello and welcome to Blue Army TV. I'm sitting at Carl have made it into League One by winning at Wembley on penalties against Stockport County. 1 1 it was after extra time. Oh my god. I can't really believe that we've done it. It's an, it's an odd one for me because. I just, I just I don't know what to say. Um, and look, this channel's about me talking and it's very rare that I just don't have anything to say. But the thing is, we've done it. Paul Simpson's done it. The team's done it. And they deserve it so, so much. And look, commiserations to Stockport County. They were a, they're a very good team. They beat us this season. Just not when it mattered. Um, <laughs> look, uh, they didn't have a shot on target in the, in the first 90 minutes um, and somehow went in having scored. Uh, John Mellish did that for them. We can always say that the GOAT himself, John Mellish, has scored at Wembley. We don't have to mention the part that it was in his own net. Um, but yeah, look, L League One it is. Um, and look, there's going to be some videos coming out very soon on this channel, an overall season review and, and, and a video about kits. But the match reaction from this video, from the, um, from that match... I don't care how we played. I don't care how it was in the 90 minutes. I don't care about extra time. Penalties are all that matters. And, and the result at the end is all that matters. And we've actually done it. You know, we had a Cumbrian manager that's done it. We had a Cumbrian man of the match, you know, in Moxon. And Taylor Charters, um, Mary Port lad himself, scoring the win penalty. You know, it's all Cumbrian run. Amari uh, Patrick, obviously, with the goal, doesn't fit the bill uh, in that regard. But look, he's forever cemented himself as a Carlisle hero himself and look Mario Patrick's got a lot of stick this season especially for me but he's scored and he stepped up when it mattered the most and I'm, I'm very 50-50 as to whether he'll be here next season a lot of people seem to think he won't be and if that is the case he's left this club having been a very big part in seeing us uh, escape relegation having scored some very big goals an absolute fan favourite and he's signed off in style, scoring the equaliser in a playoff final, and he's forever cemented himself as a Carlisle legend with that goal, with that match. And look, I think every player played their part. I think every player that came on played their part. You know, it was a little bit awkward going into the last 30 minutes, having thrown on it, literally every striker, every attacker we had on the bench, um, onto the pitch, and then we have to try and make some sort of system out of having all them strikers going into the last half an hour. And look, Paul Simpson, the genius he did, said no bother, we'll do that and we'll even be the better team in this last half an hour and we'll almost feel a little bit gutted that we didn't score after the equaliser because we equalised later on and I think we've, if we'd have equalised a little bit earlier we would have probably won it in the 90 because after that goal it was just relentless Carlisle attacks and it was fantastic. Um, and they only looked like one team was going to win it. And we went to penalties. I was so, so confident in every single penalty. Except maybe the exception of Ryan Edmondson. Because I kept thinking about that one he'd missed at Barra. In the 5-1. But every penalty was a good penalty. Except really at Ryan Edmondson's. And even that I don't believe in. Because I think if a penalty goes in, it's a good penalty. If it doesn't go in, it's an awful penalty. There's no in-between. Like And look, Rydal. Uh, the, the penalty misser for Stockport. I, feel, I do feel sorry for him. But at the same time, I'm very happy he did miss. And he didn't even miss. You know, a, a lot of people, I wouldn't say this, but a lot of people would say that's not even a bad penalty. But it's a very, very good save from Thomas Hawley. And, and look, Thomas Hawley is somebody who I owe a lot of apologies to this season. I've slated him. Probably deservingly so sometimes. But he absolutely loves the club. And he was absolutely the hero at Wembley. He made an excellent, excellent save that I think is more important than his penalty save, to be perfectly honest with you. I think he'll get the credit for the penalty save, but the save he deserves credit for the most was that one in edit added time that would have saw us crash out of the FA Cup, um, of the playoff final. Uh, it was an excellent, excellent save, one of the best I've seen all season from a very good chance from Stockport man. I think that's the save that that he he deserves the most credit for, and that's the best save of the match I think, and he really played his part in that game. There's nothing he can do about John Mellish's sort of deflection or slash own goal. It, it just loops right over him. It's the luckiest goal Stockport could have asked for. And yeah, look, fantastic. League One football. I didn't think we would be here two years ago. It, I just didn't think it was going to happen. Uh, I released a video yesterday because I thought it was very important that I got a video out. Uh, eight seconds long, I think it was, of me, I think about ten seconds after Charters put that penalty away. Um... 
I'm gonna keep that up that up that video. Um, but I, I thought I thought I had to release a proper sort of match analysis video as usual. And look what what a day, what a fantastic day, and the players deserve to celebrate now. Think about next season in a couple of weeks' time. Um, but for now, just enjoy it because Carlisle have been promoted, and it serves that Paul Simpson. Every full season he has, we seem to get promoted. So. Let's hope he can do it again next season <laughs> in League One. Um, very big ask. But look, he's earned the right to be a League One manager again. And he's earned the right... A lot of these players have earned the right to go and play in League One now. A lot of them will stay, a lot of them won't. Um, but let's just enjoy League One next season. Let's just... Whatever happens, let's just enjoy the fact that we've been promoted. The first time in 17 years we've experienced promotion. I can't remember 2000 and five I think it was yeah two thousand I can't remember two thousand and five when we got promoted. This is the first promotion I've been witness to and I'm just so so proud of the supporters as well because that crowd and I think it's so so scummy from whoever it is, the FA or Sky or whoever's fault it was. The final was on half one. That's the length of the country these fans are gonna have to travel. From Carlisle to London. That's just you, you put it in, it was sat nav. All, all going well, I think it's about f between five and six hours, but more realistically, it's probably going to take at least seven hours to get between the two. And you've got it on at half one. Stupid, stupid decision. And then there's, on top of that, all trains from Carlisle were cancelled. Um, and then there's the disgusting decision by some of the bus companies to charge upwards of £100. Uh, I, I heard stories of a bus scam where people are taking money off people and then not providing the bus. It's been an absolute nightmare trying to get down there uh, for for a lot of Carlisle fans, and and even even with that, we managed to take a good rounded up to fifteen thousand fans, which I think look we've taken more to Wembley in the past, but all things considered, this time around that's an excellent excellent turnout, and I include Stockport County in that as well because they just they took just over. That they obviously have a shorter journey. Well, everyone has a shorter jo <laughs> journey uh, to Wembley. But look, I think excellent effort from both sets of fans. I think both sets of fans were great at Wembley. I think the celebration when Amari Patrick's goal went in was something, something completely different. Something I haven't really experienced ever. It was absolute carnage in that <laughs> in that end, and it was fantastic. Um, yeah. Commissioners and Stockport, and they're definitely going to be up there next season, aren't they? They're definitely going to be fighting for promotion. Yeah, I'm just so happy to not be in League Two next season because I think it's going to be a very, very difficult league when you look at some of the teams coming up. Like, I, I'm, I'm so happy we don't have to put it with Wrexham next season. That's one thing to just, just to consider. All of the crap that National League clubs have had to put up with with Wrexham, you know, everything's about them. Every cameras on them. Everything's about them. They're, they're, they're they'll come in and spend massively outspend everyone else and yet they're somehow the fairy tale story. It's annoyed me not being in the same league as them. So I'm very happy we don't have to put up with them with them in League Two next season. Um and look you just look at some of the teams in that league now. Gillingham I think are going to be really good. Stockport as well are going to fight for the title. Some of the teams coming down. Then you've got Wrexham and Notts County as well. Both haven't broken the record from the National League. Uh, points tally. Um, both going to be fighting for the top end of League 2. I think it's very, very good that we've got promoted this season because it's going to be a lot more difficult in that league next season. And now we're up into League 1. Some very, very good away days to look forward to. Derby County is the one in my mind. Um, Blackpool, Wigan, uh, Reading if you want to travel down that far. Some excellent, excellent grounds and some big sort of ex-Premier League teams that we're going to have to play. I say going to have to, we get the privilege of playing. And it's going to be fantastic, um, but yeah, I'll leave you there. I'll be on, I'll be uploading a video quite soon. Um, some other videos coming this summer as well. So thank you for watching, uh, and just thank you for the support this season. I want to mention a number of people. Uh, Sonny Kirkwood has been doing the uh, thumbnails this season. Massive thanks to him. Massive thanks to just the support this season I've gotten from a lot of people. Uh, there's too many names to name, but. People comment every single week. I, I read the comments every week. I try and get back to them most weeks, to everyone. There's been such some unreal support this season, and thank you so much for that. But yeah, <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel, and in a bit.